Hi, I'm Angela Malik. I'm a chef. I teach here at my cookery school. The five taste sensations is what our food is all about. And that will be reflected in the recipe you're about to see now. This is one of my favourite starters. It's a great blend of my Punjabi heritage and my love of British ingredients. Makes fantastic snacks as well. Amritsari fish with a chaat salad. Gorgeous. We're going to start by preparing the fish. It's a very simple marinade. I've got some vinegar here. We're going to add in a nice pinch of salt, three-fingered pinch. And we'll add in the fish. Sustainability is what fish is all about now. This is pollock. Great white fish, quite firm as well. It's going to be wonderful as the Amritsari pakora. So I'm just going to let this marinate while I prepare the batter. So in here I have plain flour, corn flour and some turmeric. A bit of water. That's done. I'm going to add some flavours into this now. This is lovage or karam seed. It's called a ajwain in Hindi. It's part of the cumin family. Uh, it's a great nutty, hot flavour in your mouth. It goes particularly well with fish. I'm going to put in some ginger paste. I'm going to add in some garlic paste and some salt. Mix it up. And as I always say, taste everything. Great, really good flavours. So my fish is going to sat for about 10 minutes or so and we're going to drop it into the batter. So I'm actually going to let this sit for a few minutes and wait while I prepare my chaat salad next. The first stage of the chaat is making a little dressing. It's also called chutney in India. We think of chutney in Britain as a preserve. We think chutney is a very fresh salsa. So I'm going to make a mint and coriander chutney dressing for my chaat. I'm going to throw in one garlic clove, a few leaves of mint and a bit of coriander. Leave the stalks on. Into this I'll add a little pinch of salt. That's going to help us to break down the garlic. And I'm going to add some lemon juice. Look at the taste sensations in that mortar and pestle. Umami from the coriander, hot with my garlic, sour from my lemon, and we'll add a little bit of sugar for sweet. Five taste sensations in one dressing. Let's pan this down. So let's start to assemble the salad now. Very simple. I've just got some sweet potato, which is boiled and cubed. And I'm going to add in some protein, beans. These are pinto beans and chickpeas. I love chickpeas and we eat a lot of chickpeas in North India. So there's my simple salad. Let's add the dressing. Great flavours in that dressing. I'm just going to do a quick mix and then I'm going to add some hot into this. Garam masala. Garam is the Hindi word for hot, and there's a blend of six spices in my garam masala. Cumin, coriander, black pepper, cardamom, cloves and cinnamon. It's aromatic beyond belief. And my very simple chart is done. Let's do the last part of the dish, frying off the fish. It's been sitting in the batter for about 15 minutes, and I've got some very, very hot oil in my wok. The secret about deep fat frying is temperature. Number one, get your oil very hot. And number two, don't overload the wok with too much food. Temperature will fall and the oil will be absorbed into the food rather than just used as a cooking medium. So I'm dropping in about five pieces of fish into my hot oil. Now this is sunflower oil that I'm frying in. It's going to take about a minute, two minutes to cook the little pieces of fish. So you want to do this just as your guests are sitting down at the table. Deep fried food won't hang around for very long. It starts to go soft. So there's my fish done. A little bit of your chart salad on one side. And some amritsari fish. One side. And I think I'm going to add sprig of mint just to garnish my fish. So there we have it, Amritsari fish with a street chart salad.